Hello, welcome back to another Comic Pressing 101. If you have seen the last video where I started to introduce the idea of adding moisture and the various methods that some people use, some people like to use a humidity chamber and some people choose to use a steamer or something that adds steam to the book okay I can tell you I started out testing with the humidity chamber but for me that seemed to be slow as heck uh, I am fairly impatient <laughs> I don't really want to wait overnight or two or three hours to find out if something is gonna be able to be pressed so I experimented with um, steam because you know as I discussed in the last video I felt that you know hey you know if I need to add steam to iron out a wrinkled cotton shirt maybe I need to add steam somehow to a wrinkle cover to make it nice and easy to press right to relax the paper so um, my wife happened to have like a handheld steamer it's, it's broken so it's long gone but there was a handheld steamer that looked like a shower head okay and um, it has various degree of you know how much steam will come out and I experimented with that and of course I was extremely careful because you know, for anyone that um, try or experimented with steam you know that you know the amount of steam that give out is a lot a lot more than the humidity chamber can give you in hours okay so you know my first advice is choose a steamer that worked for you I can tell you that handheld steamer that I had uh, keep in mind I have been pressing now for about 10 years experimenting with pressing uh, for 10 years and the first I start to experiment with steaming probably three months into pressing or less than that maybe two months or so you know between two and three months I was starting to experiment with the humidity chamber and the handheld steamer and that handheld steamer lasted about six months before it broke okay so I went out there and bought something like this you can buy a steamer like this on Amazon for it's been so long 10 or 12 dollars this is my second one so I have went through two steamers in the past decade so just to tell you how long they last so very inexpensive um, I this is the one I use I bought this uh, I think the first one I bought after the handheld one last me maybe almost five years and this one now is uh, over three years old okay so but I experiment with with um, with steaming, and right away I noticed that there's a lot of steam coming out, and there's a lot of condensation on the cover. I freaked out the first few times that I saw that because I'm just like, oh, did I, you know, create a moisture damage on the cover? Keep in mind, I use readers keepers to experiment, but still, it was kind of strange and unnerving to see the condensation of the steam on the cover so I adjusted my method of adding steam okay what I did was instead of like hold the steamer fairly close by close I tend to in the beginning I held the steamer maybe six inch away from the book to give it a direct uh, a close and direct path from the steamer to the book and that tend to be almost too close in my opinion so I step further more like a foot 
sometimes even farther okay think of my suggestion is a, a try out the humi the humidity chamber that I discussed in the last video before you use a steamer just so that you can see how much more moisture is added with a steamer compared to the humidity chamber okay just I can't stress enough that the more you experiment the more you test out different things the more you develop your own confidence in what you want to use okay that's uh, I think that's the best way I can put it Just think of using the steamer now I used to I used to uh, for two summer for two summer in college part of one of my part-time job that I had was um, painting houses so I was very familiar with using um, whatever tool they had to spray paint whether it's the interior or the exterior of the house so think of using a steamer in that sense where you don't just turn on the steamer wait for it to start shooting out steam and just like aim directly at the book try to use the steamer in a sweeping slow motion across the book okay so that it act like a light mist instead of like smashing it directly with hot steam and create too much condensation on the cover so I find that by using a hand steamer at least a foot to a foot and a half far away with light motion to add the steam spread out more uh, evenly the moisture that landed on the cover is not too much okay here is one experiment that, that I want you to do just so you understand um, take a, a comic book a, a, a something that you practice please do this okay because I want people to understand what steam can do and what steam will not do because a lot of people that have never used steam before will freak out as if you are destroying the book you're damaging the book here's what you do you take out a book this is just an old magazine cover up half of the book with like a piece of paper or whatever it doesn't matter what you use okay cover up half the book please do this so that you understand and then use a steamer to steam just this area just like give it one or two pass even three if you want to okay it doesn't matter but give it at least two or three pass as far as a steamer so that this area is exposed to the moisture okay and give it a few seconds never never this is my doing I never put a book that I just add steam to right to the right to the printer uh, to the presser I never do that give it a few seconds give it 15 seconds give it 20 seconds so that the moisture have time to get into the fiber of the cover give it time for the cover to absorb some of the moisture to relax it okay so don't be in such a hurry to like steam the book just toss it right under the presser give it 15 to 20 seconds give it a little time to absorb okay that's just how I do it I can't tell you if that's the right way or the wrong way it's just the ETA Nick way so after you add steam to the exposed area of a book for the, you know, for a little bit put the entire book under the press like you normally would press anything whether it's quick press short press overnight press and then properly cool it down okay you do that and then take the book out and look for yourself examine the book under the light under the shine and see how the cover 
look in the area that was not exposed to steam and in the area that was exposed to steam see for yourself with your own eyes is there a difference is there a loss of gloss is there some kind of damage that was done do that and then you can continue on to the next lesson next time because I will end it right here because I want people to go through this experiment to see it for themselves whether adding steam to a book is going to damage the book somehow proper steaming okay not just blasting the book with hot steam and create a big puddle of mist on the cover I'm not talking about that I'm talking about light pass one two it's not even two seconds if you hold a book like this and turn on the steam and it start to get hot and start to spill out steam if you go one two that's more than enough more than enough there is no such thing as one two three four no 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 that's become way too much okay so have have a mental clock in your mind one two done more than enough okay for, for most of the flaws there are certain flaws there are certain flaws that might require you to give it another second a, a third pass okay this it's no set rules there are always exceptions to the rules you know how it is with pressing anyhow enough rambling for today I hope those that are serious about pressing will go through the experiment that I outlined so that you know for yourself how steam can or cannot damage a book this way if you ever talk to somebody and you mention that you're using steam and they freak out as if somehow you damage a book you can tell them to shut the F up yeah <laughs> thanks for watching